What's cracking lacking, y'all? Ray here, Gray's Dynamics, here for another wheel review. Well, more like a V2 as opposed to an actual new wheel review. This is the Picorni Hype R from Picorni. This is the all aluminum enclosure in build compared to the 3D printed enclosure in build we had before. The goal of this video is to really tell you whether it's worth it or not for you to make that upgrade and whether it's worth it for you to spend the money. So let's take a look at it. First, we'll talk about where we came from. This is the 3D build that I did originally. And these are the 3D build button guards. This is not the original 3D enclosure, but it's the same, just different color because I am giving these parts to a buddy of mine so he can build his. Um, but again, 3D printed enclosure, carbon fiber back, MJF printed with the magnets here. Really good value. Depending on what side you go with this and how much you decide to spend and how, whether or not you decide to build it yourself will determine how much you spend on it. But again, the 3D printed stuff is not bad at all. It did everything I needed to do. And I'll tell you, it did it at a really great price. Now we juxtapose that with the full aluminum enclosure here. So first things first, talk about the price. You can build this wool anywhere from five, 600 bucks now to probably about 12 50 1300 bucks that price will now determine the value for you i can't tell you what the value is for you i can tell you you get a lot of features on this wheel regardless of what build or the type of build you decide to go with cheapest with 3d printed parts to highest end with aluminum that's a decision you'll have to make but again anywhere from about 550 600 bucks to about 1200 1300 bucks once you get every bit of the parts aluminum and 3d printed or whatever the case you go so that's the price range the quality of it listen let's take this off and take a more thorough look at it aluminum enclosure done really well nothing wrong with that from every angle it looks absolutely beautiful the shifters and paddles these are just shifters, but as you know, it comes with, you can mount up to four. So I did all of them in uh, aluminum. As you can see, again, looks absolutely pretty. And then we have these two up front, the aluminum button guards. Again, aluminum, absolutely pretty. And when you juxtapose that with the 3D printed, you can see the difference. So again, absolutely amazing. The aluminum CNC quality of this is done really well. I cannot complain. And I will tell each and every one of you, if this is something that you're looking for, it's definitely worth it. Now, again, because it's CNC machine means the quality is going to be amazing. But then there's now we move on to the build. The build will change depending on whether you go 3D printed to aluminum enclosure. If you take the path of going straight Buying the wheel new and going completely aluminum from the start, it will be a much easier and significantly easier build for you because you won't have to make any adjustments. And I'm going to highlight here because many of the newer parts will take into account the now aluminum enclosure that's coming. And let's go through those steps. One, let's pull up that button guard yet again. If we look this here compared to this one here, and I can't exactly see, but that now is a little screw that is here that does not exist on here what that does is mean it's, it's going to attach the front include the front uh, plate now to the aluminum enclosure which is awesome it just adds more rigidity that is absolutely necessary when you have a build like this with that being said because those of us who may already have one it doesn't have that additional hole means you need to screw into the carbon fiber if you need to do so please protect yourself wear a mask do it somewhere well ventilated or outside. If you have a shop vac, you can attach to make sure you don't get any of those particles exposed to you or your family. I would definitely recommend it. But again, you'll have to drill that hole so that you have the ability to mount this plate directly and attach it to the enclosure, which gives you the rigidity in the corners. So that's a modification you'll have to make. Okay. So again, on the front, we also have these wonderful guards here. That are more for aesthetics they serve no purpose outside of making it look similar to the actual hypercar these i glued down for myself 
based on the directions, you could glue it down. Because of that, I had to use a heat gun to get them off, and in the process of doing so, I damaged my sticker. Thank you, Picorni, for sending me out a new sticker. Um, I appreciate that because it was my mistake. I was just going to order a new one, but thank you for watching my video and offering that bit of uh, feedback as well as getting me a new sticker. Thank you so much. Um, guys, don't make the same mistake because I can't guarantee you'll get a free sticker. So by all means, if you did glue it down, use a heat gun, but be really careful about where you heat it up and keep it moving. I made a rookie mistake. So that's on me. So they're going to now include double-sided tape. So when you attach them, if you need to remove it for whatever reason, it's easier to peel off and simply re-add and put back onto the wheel because you will have to remove them to get to the screws that are underneath to take off again the enclosure that I had for my 3D printer. So on the back of the wheel, we have our shifters. The shifters, again, completely aluminum enclosure, comes with the magnet, comes with the actual uh, two pin and co uh, cable so you can just plug it right in you don't have to do anything and the switch attached it comes with these wonderful little pads here to dampen the sound but listen to this why on good earth would you want to dampen that now maybe you're in an area where you have to be silent i get it but i don't and i'm glad i don't so I love the new aluminum shifters. Um, it's absolutely great. Um, but again, they do include pads for just in case you want to make sure they're a little more silent than they otherwise would be. In addition to that, the PCB that's on the inside, because now taking apart the 3D printed one was a little easier with taking off the plate and things like that. Now, because it's aluminum, well, they're going to change the PCB to include a boot loader. A boot loader. Um, and that's going to make it a little bit easier to make any updates to the PCB um, that they currently don't offer right now. And to be honest, I bought the PCB from Picorni. If it works, you literally won't have an issue um, with it. And if you do, then that means that bootloader will be a better option for most who may have an issue with the PCB itself. So again, yet another thing they're thinking ahead to make sure you have that ability. On the back here, we can see my buttons I mounted. These are M8 by 75s. They have changed the threading to M10 by 75. And that was done to give them the ability to put bigger buttons on here with more options and features. Kind of sucked for me because I have these. Um, these will work. Don't get me wrong. I have the original ones. They will fit just fine using a little spacer. I'm mounting them on. Good to go. They're tight. They work as functioned. Um, but again, be mindful of that M10 by 75 instead of M8 by 75. Again. Updates are always work, worth it, and I think it's a great thing. It's just when you see the directions, they will include different buttons. So if you already have some, you'll want to get some M10s or use the M8s that you already have and just put a spacer. Not that big of a deal. The clutches currently right now are still MJF and 3D printed. They are going to be offering complete aluminum paddles or clutch paddles as well. Again, similar to this enclosure, same thing down here. You'll just take off your paddle, mount the new ones, and you're good to go. So overall, this goes from a really good wheel with 3D printed parts at a great value. It goes up a notch. The value and the quality of this is second to none. Um, like I said, the build process requires a little bit of a workaround for those who already have it, but nothing that any DIYer couldn't do, um, even at the beginner entry stages. It is totally worth every bit that you would do for it. Um, so yeah, I would definitely put this on your short list. Whether or not you want the aluminum upgrade or not, well, I'm mixed on that. And here's why. The value proposition of 3D printed at 600 bucks, well, it's that, that value you're not gonna find anywhere. The value position at $1,200, that's a different value for people. For me, it's totally worth it. For my buddy Mike, who has one of these, it's not really worth it for him. He's not going to see the overall advantage in having aluminum. I think from a high-end standpoint, there's not much that this wheel is not competing with from the highest of high ends to the lowest of low ends. Um, this wheel has thumb encoders, funky switches, rotary encoders, aluminum paddles. I've got four paddles, two clutches, two back buttons. Like, 
I can't think of anything that's competing with this um, at this price range, even at $1,100 of what I'm in right now. It is totally worth every penny. But $600 is a whole lot easier on the wallet and a whole lot easier to justify to whether it's somebody else in your house or just yourself. So you have to decide that value for you. Totally worth it for me, may not be worth it for you, but I would totally consider it if you have the funds to do so. It just will make the wheel so much higher and, and the shifters do feel better. For those who are wondering, do the shifters feel better in aluminum? Yes, they do. They're much more clicky. Um, and again, like with a strong magnet, it's got that nice pull to it. Better than my MJF. If you're running like SLA or FDM, then it's going to be better than that as well. Um, so these are better overall. Um, but again, whether or not you make that purchase will be dependent on your budget. You might have seen that my wheel is also wireless now. We'll talk about that in a later video. Um, and I do hope to share that with you in a day or two. With that being said, there's some new stuff coming from Picorni that I'm excited about. I think the DIY scene is absolutely amazing right now. And I think everybody should take a look at it. First and foremost, they have a new GTB Pro, which is right here. It reminds me of the Cube Controls GTX right here, and I'm going to get a rim, this one right here, that is absolutely awesome. Because I think at the end of the day, why not? It's another DIY project, and it's similar to the Rally DIY. In the Rally DIY, you just buy the separate individual item, and you mount it to your own wheel, and then you can attach shifters and clutches and things like that to some of these projects. The Rally DIY does not include clutches. The GTB Pro will have the ability to run clutches. So again, yet another thing that I think is going to be awesome from Picorni. Can't wait to build it. Already started ordering parts that I know from looking at the picture I'm going to need. And hopefully I'll get that one built soon because I'm excited. And Father's Day is right around the corner. And as a dad, that's where you use your leverage. Father's Day. So with that being said, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed my content. Hopefully I brought some value to you in your day. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Tell me that you like it. As always, more importantly, subscribe to the channel. If you subscribe, then you can turn on notifications so you know when all the new stuff comes and I can share that content with you. As well, members, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Every month, I am surprised that you continue to stay. I'm thankful that you do. I'm surprised that you do, but I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for people like Picorni and Matt at Simulation or Us for working with me on things, answering my questions, offering feedback and information. Again, also offering you 5% off of any future purchase. So use the code GRAZE5. I don't get any money from that or kickback. It is mainly to support them. And as a DIY community, I think the best thing we can do is continue to support DIYers, uh, companies that are coming out that make great products at a great price and bring something to you that sometimes you can't get elsewhere. So, thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you on the next one. Race fast, race clean, and please hold your brakes. Talk to you later. Peace.